So can you achieve a high salary in cybersecurity? Yes. Am I hating on those who have a six-figure income? No. There's a lot of hype regarding high-paying salaries in cybersecurity. If you look at cybersecurity training, clickbait titles, social media, you'll find that one marketing tool that these training programs universities use is the six-figure income salary or just high salaries in cybersecurity. There isn't anything necessarily inherently false about this statement. In fact, I use it on my own course landing page. But it is not sort of a misconception in security, especially when you take a look at entry level security jobs, a topic that I often talk about on this channel, you'll see that this isn't necessarily reality. So yet again, another video on the reality of cybersecurity careers and I'm probably stating a lot of the obvious in this video, but I do want to take a look at high salaries in cybersecurity and why that's sort of a myth in this industry. I will start with numbers, or more specifically, the average cybersecurity salaries. Now, because I am from the United States and I'm most familiar with uh, you know, American economics, I'm going to be breaking everything down between the United States and dollars and looking at the actual individual states breaks down. So the six figure income in cybersecurity. Yes, that's awesome. If you Google the median salary of a cybersecurity professional or job, you're going to probably find something in the six figures. That's great. But these numbers lack context in two ways, in my opinion. So if you go on a website such as ZipRecruiter, what you'll find is a breakdown of states and the average cybersecurity salaries. Now, a lot of the states will have an average above the six-figure range, but if you take a look at the states in total, half of the United States uh, have average cybersecurity salaries that are less than six figures. So you have to take into account, of course, where you're living and the cost of living. You're going to have a higher salary, of course, when you're in New York compared to South Dakota. Results will vary, of course, depending on the source of information and the website you're looking at. Um, but this really leads into my next point. I'm assuming many of these websites that you take compensation numbers from are looking at the overall landscape of cybersecurity. So that includes entry level, mid and high level jobs. So of course, the averages are going to be extrapolated to probably above the six figure range uh, if you're looking at the total. Now, if I'm assuming this wrong, then I'm completely wrong on that point, but it, it still doesn't think about entry-level cybersecurity jobs. Looking at or Googling entry-level cybersecurity jobs, what you're going to find is a, a median, uh, doesn't necessarily an average or mean, but a median salary of $74,000, which is pretty good for uh, starting out. So ultimately, the likelihood of an entry level job in cybersecurity being above six figures is going to depend on multiple factors, the type of company, qualifications, certifications, previous experience, uh, the way or where you are living, um, yeah, and, and much more. I'm stating pretty much the obvious here. I'm saying this as a cautionary, so have the right expectations when you are approaching an entry-level job in security. Do not underestimate your value, so I'm not saying you should negotiate for, a, of course, a lower salary, but set a realistic expectation. Saying all of this, unlike many positions out there, uh, a cybersecurity career definitely will fast track or put you on a track to earning a high level of income if you play your cards right, you work your way up, you have qualifications, of course, a lot of the different factors. But starting out with zero years experience, you probably shouldn't expect a super high salary. Overall, with numbers, be realistic. Sometimes the higher the salary, the more time and responsibility you have for the job. Choose whatever balance you want. And this leads me into my next point, which is just the level of general interest within IT, technology, and security. Measuring your level of interest and overall commitment to the topic of IT security or cybersecurity can help you be more successful and just more uh, uh, satisfied with your job. Anyone can be successful in this industry. If you have the drive, the commitment, the ambition, you can accomplish and learn in this industry. It's great that you can learn basically everything online for free if you wanted to. So having a certain level of 
interest and general curiosity towards security is going to help push you during the times where you perhaps may not feel like learning or doing something. And like any career in technology, the industry is of course ever evolving, meaning you're always going to have to be learning something new and getting ahead because this industry never stops. So having some level of interest and pride in the work you do can help push you during those tough times. If you're chasing the high income uh, in security, but you're completely miserable uh, while you're doing it, I mean, what quality of life is that? I mean, that's up to you to decide. I don't think there's anything wrong with chasing the high salary potential or high income in security. It can absolutely help achieve a certain level of lifestyle or quality of life. This video is literally just a short reminder and perhaps maybe it serves as a caution for chasing cybersecurity for the money. It's high income, six figure salary in entry level cybersecurity is absolutely possible, but it isn't always the norm. It's gonna depend on number of factors and that's important. And I'm probably stating the obvious. Be mindful of training programs, universities, influencers, perhaps like myself, who are trying to market something towards you and attracting you towards that six figure income. Um, you know, just be mindful of that. It's not always the case and uh, well, that's about all I have.